profit is the reward for the entrepreneurial risk that you bear. It's not about what you make. It's about what you keep. So profit is above and beyond what your business pays you to work in the business as a team member. Because after all, if we're being honest, team members typically don't lose sleep at night worrying about the cash flow in the business like a business owner does. We business owners are the ones doing that. And we need to be rewarded for that. Your business needs to be an investment that you're experiencing return on. You work hard in your business. On the Profit by Design podcast, we ask the big question. What has your business done for you lately? Hi, I'm Dr. Sabrina Starling. I'm the business psychologist, the author of the Four Week Vacation and the How to Hire the Best series, as well as the founder of Tap the Potential, where we coach entrepreneurs like you to design sustainably profitable businesses that give you more time for what matters most and more money in your bank account than ever. Because after all, we believe work supports life, not the other way around. Weekly on the Profit by Design podcast, we bring you tips, tools, and strategies from our own experiences and from the experiences of our guests who are entrepreneurial thought leaders and real life entrepreneurs, all to support you in making intentionally profitable and sustainable business decisions to live the lifestyle you desire. At Tap the Potential, we love helping business owners like you take your life back from your business. And we have been celebrating these last few weeks because there have been some big wins with our clients in the last year. And I want to share some of these with you so that you get a sense of what's possible for you. Because today on the Profit by Design podcast, we're going to be talking about visioning for 2024. And so I think it's really fun to listen to these wins and think about, oh, that's possible for me. I might want to include that in my vision. So listen and make your list of the wins that you want to be celebrating in 2024, because we would love to do big things with you in 2024. So here are some of the wins a 43% increase in revenue, eight times return on investment, hitting a million in revenue for the first time, paying down large sums of debt. I'm talking six figures of debt and sometimes doing this in just a couple years of time using Profit First and the debt snowball that we teach you to do at Tap the Potential. We've had business owners who have doubled their owner's pay. Just imagine that, doubling your pay in the next year. What would you do with that extra money? Replacing poor fit team members with A players who are taking more things off the owner's plate. And some of our clients who have done that have had, and they've tried it on their own for years to hire good team members and they have not had success and they were really starting to give up even on having team members. And these business owners now have multiple A player team members in place in their feeling inspired about what's possible in their business, things they had never considered. So their visioning for 2024 is going to be even bigger now that they have those A players supporting them. We have clients who have taken their first two week fully unplugged vacations. Some of our clients took a one week fully unplugged vacation and they had never taken unplugged time off from the business in 10 years time. So this is a big deal. And I know we talk about the four week vacation and that might feel like, wow, that's really out of reach. So just imagine what would it be like to double the amount of vacation time that you've had in the next year and to be able to fully unplug. So no taking a laptop with you, you're not checking in, you are just fully unplugged for that length of time and you're present with yourself and your family and you're doing fun things and you're finally feeling like, wow, I'm feeling the rewards of owning a business. That's a big win. And we do have some clients who took four week fully unplugged vacations for the first time this year. So that's another big win. And it's not just about the vacation time, though. On a day to day basis, we are helping business owners free up more time for what matters most. And I actually think those are the biggest wins of all. When you're able to go home and fully unplug and be present with your family, take your kids to their sporting events and watch the sporting event and make eye contact with your child. When they look up to see if you're watching, they see you watching and you're not on your phone. 
that's the biggest win, right? So more time with your family members, more time for exercise, strength training, flexibility, healthy eating. We're seeing our clients do that. Spending time with friends, having hobbies again, maybe finding things that you've lost touch with in the past that you used to enjoy doing and reconnecting with those. This is what's possible for you in 2024 as part of your vision. We have our clients in 2023 who have done these things and we're celebrating those wins with us. And I know when they came into our Better Business, Better Life program and they were writing the wins that they wanted to celebrate at the end of the year with us, it felt to them like, oh my gosh, I wish I could. I just don't even know if this is possible, but I'm going to say that I want to do it because it would really make me happy. And so if you're having that feeling for yourself as you start to vision for 2024, I want to invite you to put those gremlins aside and just start getting honest with yourself around that really powerful question of what do I want? Because we want to do big things with you in 2024. And I want you to be sure that if you want to do big things with us in 2024, you are signed up to join us in our jumpstart in January. This is going to be so, so powerful. It's a great way to kick off your year. And if you've been doing the exercises with me here in the strategic planning series, you're going to be able to bring the work that you've done into the jumpstart and it's going to set you up for even more success. So head on over to tapthepotential.com forward slash jumpstart and get signed up. It's happening January 8th through the 12th. We meet one hour each day. These are closed door, small group sessions on Zoom. And the Jumpstart is a preview of our Better Business, Better Life program. We go through the strategic work that we do with our clients in the Better Business, Better Life program. So it really gives you a high level overview of the program, but you are doing small action steps each day that are $10,000 an hour activities, because they're getting you to focus on the most valuable aspects of the business. And you're bringing a new mindset, a new perspective to those aspects of your business. So when you join us for the jumpstart, you're going to get a growth plan that delivers. We're going to walk you through designing sustainable profitability in your business. We're going to help you calculate your profit potential and design a plan for profit in the year ahead. We're going to show you how to simplify your business. And you're going to discover the profit that is hiding in plain sight in your business. And I can't tell you how important this is because this is an area where so many business owners really fumble. You have profit in your business right now. It's hidden. And we're going to show you where to find that profit. And when you set really big revenue goals and you push sales, but you're not paying attention to profitability, you're going to lose profitability. And we call that no man's land, right? And that's the biggest danger of a growing small business. So in the Jumpstart Workshop, We're going to show you how to identify the profit that's hiding in plain sight in your business and give you a clear path for you to grow, to grow your revenue, scale your business, but do it in a way that's profitable. And you're also going to learn how to identify your unique value and what you're delivering in your business that no one else does. You'll see how your clients see you as unique and different. This is so important for making sure that you're not subject to price competition. So join us for the jumpstart. We're going to show you the $10,000 an hour activities that will free up your time, create more sanity for you and explode your profits in 2024. Sign up at tapthepotential.com forward slash jumpstart. So welcome back to part three of the strategic planning series. This is a four part series to help you plan for 2024 and then come into our jumpstart to nail your strategy for profitable growth in 2024. So if you feel like you are in the survival trap where you're trying to take steps forward, you've been working on your business all year, but you're just not getting the momentum that you need and you're making choices and you're making decisions, but it's not getting you the results that you have in mind, it's possible that you're in the survival trap and you're not alone. It's such a common experience for us entrepreneurs as the business is growing. And today on the podcast, we're going to have a lot of fun because I want to support you in designing your clear, compelling, vivid vision for 2024 for the business. Now, this is based on a chapter that is featured in the four-week vacation. So if as we go, you get really excited and you enjoy doing this, I encourage you to read the chapter about developing your clear, compelling, vivid vision in the four-week vacation book. 
So also the questions that I'm guiding you through today are contained in our strategic planning series workbook. You can download that at tapthepotential.com forward slash plan. And there's a bonus. When you download our strategic planning workbook, you also get Tap the Potential's 2024 strategic planner. This is the planner day by day, week by week that you use to stay focused on your $10,000 an hour activities as you execute the Tap the Potential solution to designing your business to be sustainably profitable in 2024. So you can get that at tapthepotential.com forward slash plan. Visioning is the most powerful and effective motivator for us to have positive change in our businesses and in our lives. And here's why. When we create a vision, we create clarity on what we want. Clarity, that is the key word. And one of the reasons we stay stuck in the survival trap as entrepreneurs is because we have a lack of clarity on where we're headed. So What we're moving towards is visioning and designing the future that we are living into. And when we vision, we don't need to know how we're going to create the things we vision. We need to trust that the how will appear. How information is so easy to acquire. We teach our clients at Tap the Potential all day long, every day, how to make these things happen. So as you're creating the vision, don't get hung up on the how. Trust the process. What's most important at this phase is to create the clarity on what you want. And we don't want you just focusing on the how, because if you get stuck on the how, it disrupts your creativity and your visioning process. So when we're visioning, I really just want you to focus on what it is that you want to experience and why it's so important to have that experience. So again, notice I didn't say, what is it you want to have? (laughs) I said, what is it you want to experience? So we're not focusing on have, we're focusing on the experience that you want to have as you live your life and run and grow your business profitably in 2024. And the other reason we don't want to focus and get hung up on the how is we may have to change the how as we go. But the beautiful thing about having a vision is that it becomes a filter to help us make decisions. So if you look in your strategic planning workbook, there's an image of the survival trap on page 10. And the survival trap is what we do on a regular basis as entrepreneurs. We get very much in the weeds of our business and we make decisions and choices that help us get through the moment for a given day or a given week, but they don't necessarily move us closer to our vision. So for example, if you have a cash flow crisis in your business, you agree to take on work from a client that may have little to do with your sweet spot. And yes, it stops the cash flow issue for a week or a month in your business, but has it moved you closer to your vision or further away? It may, because it's not related to the sweet spot, it's actually moved you further away from your vision. So we want to have a clear, compelling, vivid vision of what we're moving towards. And that becomes part of our decision-making filter and our team's decision-making filter. So in the four-week vacation chapter, where I talk about your vision, I talk about it in the context of setting your team up for success. Because when you're away from the business, if they have certain guidelines that they can use in making decisions, they're going to make really good, solid decisions in your absence. And your vision is one of those parameters, one of those guidelines that you want to give them. And we as entrepreneurs can use our vision as a filter when we're making decisions on a daily or weekly or monthly basis. And when we're trying to decide, okay, what are we gonna do here? We may need to shift our gears on how we accomplish things, but we're always going to be evaluating the opportunities in front of us and the challenges that we have in front of us in relation to the vision. So looking at how do we turn these challenges into opportunities that move us towards our vision. It's the holiday season and we have a gift for you. We'd love to gift you with a signed copy of my book, The Four Week Vacation, the entrepreneur's ultimate guide to taking your life back from your business. It's a great read about the small steps forward you can take to take your life back. And it's chock full of business advice for how to set your team up for success as you delegate. It is a must read this holiday season to get your copy. Take our Better Business, Better Life assessment at tapthepotential.com forward slash assessment. Not only will you receive my book, The Four Week Vacation in the mail, 
you'll also have the opportunity to receive your personalized list of $10,000 activities based on the results of your assessment. Cheers. So in part one of the strategic planning series, I talked about resilience, right? And building your resilience as an entrepreneur and failing forward. Some of the strongest systems that we have at Tap the Potential that are driving our current level of success came from us solving some of our biggest problems and challenges at Tap the Potential. And I see that in our clients' businesses as well. The areas where you're weak, the areas that are undermining your success when we create systems and put systems in place to solve those problems or deal with those weak areas, those can actually become some of the strongest parts of the business. And if you're like me, The reason a vision is so important is that I never have a shortage of ideas. I can come up with ideas all day long for how to make the business better. The key to staying out of the survival trap is to pick the ideas that are most in line with the direct path forward toward our vision. And remember, as we create these visions, our brains like to think in images, not words. And what's more, our brain really likes to think in moving images like a movie. So when we write our vision, we want to use words and language that evoke imagery in our brain. And when we share our vision, when you share it, for example, with your team members, you want your team to be able to see themselves as a star, having a starring role in the movie in their head as you read that vision out loud. So you're creating a vision that they are stepping into. And as human beings, we love good stories and we love to be told a story. And how cool is it to be told a story where you are the hero in making things happen? So as I take you through visioning, I'm going to take you through questions that really help you set your team members up as being the heroes in the story and being the heroes in the vision that you're creating. So when you create your vision, you're laying out, here's what we're doing in the year ahead. And you're doing it in such a way that your team members, they feel it, they can taste it, they can smell it, and they just really experience it. Just like when you go to the movie theater and you get immersed in that movie that's on the screen. So one of the best ways to test your vision is can someone else see it? Do they have an actual experience? Do they have an emotional reaction as they're listening? And when you're writing your vision, use active language and speak in the present tense as though things are happening currently. And that's part of creating that moving image experience. So I want to invite you to vision 2024. How will it be for you? What is going to make 2024 better for you than the previous years in business? How do you want to experience this year in your life? So if we decide that we want to attain things, for example, like hitting a certain revenue level and buying this or that, we're not really thinking about the experience we want to have. And a lot of times business owners will say, well, I want to double my revenue in the next year. And in my head, with my experience in business all these years and all the coaching that I've done, I start thinking about, oh my goodness, Does that business owner realize the chaos that they are about to create? Because what will ensue when you double your revenue if you haven't put systems in place and gotten the team in place to support that level of growth? It puts you, doubling your revenue puts you on a very fast trajectory. And the only exception to this rule is if you are currently under 100,000 in revenue right now, you should absolutely try to double your revenue in 2024. But if you're, say, at 500,000 in revenue, and you say, we want to go from 500,000 to a million in revenue in the year ahead, there's a big difference from running a million dollar revenue company versus a $500,000 revenue company. And you want to be sure before you double revenue that you have systems, A players, all of that in place to make it happen because the worst thing you could do is sell, 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 and then not be able to deliver on what you've sold or to deliver in a poor way on what you've sold because then you're just shooting yourself in the foot. You're going to have a couple of years that you're going to have to recover from that and fix things. And most importantly, you're going to have to fix your reputation in your community because you now have a poor reputation for quality. So don't let that happen. So instead of doubling revenue, focus on possibly doubling profit, right? Or doubling owner's pay. And that's where we get to what we're trying to talk about in the jumpstart in early January is 
Where is that profit and owner's pay hiding in plain sight in your business? And I love when I take business owners through the jumpstart, there's a couple of exercises that I take you through that are so eye-opening with respect to you don't have to increase your revenue. You don't have to add more clients. You can actually reduce your client load and have more revenue or have more profit and owner's pay. Your revenue could go down and you could have more profit and owner's pay. And all of that has to do with finding the inefficiency in the business. And that's what we're so good at, Tap the Potential, is helping you find the areas where there's inefficiency because the inefficiency equals profit. And when we clean it up, you have more profit, you have more owner's pay. So I really encourage you, as you're thinking about your vision to think about, well, if I were to double my profit, if I were to double my owner's pay in the year ahead, what experiences would I have? Because that would exponentially impact your life, right? So what's going to happen when you have more money in your bank account than you've ever had before? What's going to happen for you? How will it be for you when you're able to pay yourself appropriately as the owner of the business? And you're also streamlining the business so that you have more time for what matters as the business grows. So that's where I really want to get you thinking is what happens for you when you have more time for what matters most. And another cool byproduct of implementing the Tap the Potential solution is that your time gets freed up. So you have more time to think about taking care of your best clients and customers in a way that feels really good. It's gratifying and satisfying to you and your team members because your time is getting freed up and you're not getting bogged down and just chasing sales and trying to grow the revenue, which creates a lot of chaos and stress in the business. So focus on considering on doubling your profit or your owner's pay versus doubling the revenue. And goal setting, by the way, is a part of the visioning process, but we're not going to necessarily hit goal setting today. Goal setting is breaking down the vision into realistic goals as you go throughout the year. And that's what we specialize in helping you do in our Better Business, Better Life program. Right now we're in the designing. So I really want you to think about the experience you want to have that's going to guide you in making better choices in how you manage your business and your life in 2024. So now imagine it's December 31st, 2024, and you're reflecting on your year and all the joy and happiness you've experienced. And I want you to define the experience you're having, write down what's happening that's creating that experience for you. And by the way, all the questions that I'll be taking you through here on the podcast are contained in the strategic planning workbook. So if you haven't downloaded it, just head over to tapthepotential.com forward slash plan. And then you'll have these questions because I think it's really powerful to just sit down and do some reflective thinking about this rather than trying to have all the thoughts as you listen to the podcast episode. And one of the reasons that I love doing the strategic planning series on the podcast during the last weeks of the year is that these tend to be your quietest weeks and you actually do have some time to sit down and think and reflect. So you've had an incredible, joyful year in 2024. You're experiencing a lot of happiness in your life and you're thriving in your business. Write down everything that's happened that's creating that experience for you. And I really invite you to look at this first from your personal life, because after all, work supports life, not the other way around. So how is your business supporting your quality of life? And you can refer back to the wheel of life in your strategic planning workbook to help you think about the different areas of your life. So look at each life area and think about what being joyful and fulfilled, living life at a 10 in each of those areas. What does that look like? So Now, as we take this into the business, think about what's going on in your business that's allowing for those experiences to be happening. And how are you experiencing your personal relationships? How are you taking care of yourself? How are you showing up as a leader? How are you connecting spiritually? So think about how your business has supported you in the last year. What's going on in your business that's creating this high, high quality of life for you? So now I'm going to walk you through some different aspects of your business to help you flesh this out in some detail. So imagine it's 12 months from now and we're celebrating that you've had the most profitable year ever in your business. What's happening that's causing that? And remember, profit is the reward for the entrepreneurial risk that you bear. It's not about what you make. It's about what you keep. So profit is above and beyond what your business pays you to work in the business as a team member. Because after all, if we're being honest, team members typically don't lose sleep at night worrying about the cash flow in the business like a business owner does. We business owners are the ones doing that. And we need to be rewarded for that. Your business needs to be an investment that you're experiencing return on. 
So what have you done in your business? What systems have you put in place? For example, putting the profit first system in place is supporting you in having strong profitability in the business. But profit first is one system. And in order to achieve ongoing profitability and have the owners pay that you deserve, you have to really streamline and create more and more efficiency in your business. So there are other systems in the Tap the Potential Solution that we support you in putting in place so that you can achieve that profitability and owners pay that you're desiring. So if you've put profit first in place, I hope it's eye-opening for you to recognize that's only one of the systems. There's more. And Profit First is the first system because it's the most impactful system to put in place in your business for just guaranteeing your business will be profitable going forward. And I also want to say to you, if you've had some setbacks in the previous year or two, consider what are you doing now that's helping you become more resilient and strong with respect to profitability in your business? What are some of the lessons you learned as you looked at your resiliency from our first episode one in the strategic planning series? What are some of those lessons you learned that you're going to carry forward and build on in 2024 to help you be more profitable? An example is let's say that you recognize that you tolerate people and issues in your business entirely too long. And you make a decision that you're going to get some support and guidance from us at Tap the Potential and how to have these difficult conversations, these courageous conversations to clean up things in your business and clean up issues with people where you've been tolerating things too long. And you're going to get really confident in your leadership what impact will that have on profitability? And if you think, well, I can certainly look in the last two years and see where that's cost me a lot of money and I don't want to have that experience anymore. That's great. So take what you've learned from that and look at how you're going to use those lessons going forward to increase your profitability. The next really important system to think through is the sweet spot of your business. Your sweet spot is that intersection of your top clients, your unique offering, and what your top clients value most about what you're delivering and the systems that you put in place to deliver to your top clients. So I want you to imagine having a strong sweet spot in place in your business. Think about what's going on. Think about the wonderful clients you're getting to engage with who are a joy for your team and you to serve. What is your team saying about your clients? What are you saying about your clients? Even more importantly, what are your clients saying to you? about what they're experiencing in your business. This is one of the most powerful questions you can answer. I remember a few years ago where I had really lost my pride in some of the things that we were doing at Tap the Potential. It didn't feel like we were living up to what we used to be able to promise and deliver. And I wrote a strong statement around here is what I'm hearing our clients say. And I can't tell you how wonderful it was throughout the year to get emails and have conversations with our clients. And they were almost saying those exact words back to me. They were mirroring them to me. And it was like we had achieved that vision. And what it was is I had gotten really clear on the experience I wanted to create for our clients. And because of the experience they were having, I knew what they would be saying. And so I taught our team, this is what we're after. This is how we want our clients to experience us. And we need to put systems in place that allow them to have that experience. And that's how it came together. And it all started with the visioning. So what do you want to hear your clients saying about their experience with your business? Next, I want you to think about your team. What is your team experiencing? What is their day-to-day experience as they come to work? And as you think about having these strong systems in place around the sweet spot, think about what it feels like for your team to get to work with the best clients and customers. And when they're making few mistakes and how when communication happens as it needs to happen, there's this clarity. What is that experience like? And imagine that you're moving closer and closer to the experience of your business being able to operate with you being gone for an extended period of time. What is that like? What's going on? What have you put in place in the past year that's allowing that to happen? And imagine you have a great culture that your team says you have a great place to work. How does your team experience working with you? How do they experience your leadership? How do they experience getting to show you what they're capable of when you're stepping away from the business? What do they say about their job? And here's one of my favorites. What are you hearing your top clients say about your team members, right? 
Yeah, because that really means you've hired A players. And now what are your top clients saying about their experience with your A players? And now I want you to imagine that you have a strong system for attracting A players to your business and you're growing your lean and mighty team. Maybe you've taken the How to Hire the Best course in 2024 and you've been featured in our Great Place to Work spotlight. You've got the How to Hire the Best system in place and you're no longer scrambling to cover open roles because you're attracting a steady stream of A players who want that opportunity to work for you. And not only that, you have highly engaged team members who are in the right seats getting their work done from their strengths. What is that experience? What is it like for them? What's it like for you? What does it feel like when you really embrace this vision for a moment and experience it and see it and feel it and imagine that you're growing as a leader, you're uncovering your blind spots. And because of that, you're showing up more and more powerfully and effectively each day of 2024. How do others experience you when that's happening? How do you stand? How do you hold yourself in that place as that leader? What kind of emotions are you experiencing from that place? What actions are you taking from that place? What words are you using? And what actions do you stop taking when you're in that place of strong, confident leadership? So I hope these prompts are getting your wheels turning and you're probably already having some ideas spark in your head. So go download the workbook and take some time, grab a journal and really let yourself reflect, let your ideas run because you have the time and space to do this. Seize the opportunity to really create this vision. And you probably noticed as I went along, I didn't just create a vision for you. I helped you create a vision for your team members. And when your team members do this as a team, they'll also find ways to support one another in improving aspects of their lives. So you can take them through this visioning exercise to design their personal visions in 2024. This can be a wonderful team development activity to start off with in January. And so when you're sharing your vision with them and you're asking them to create their personal vision and what they're going to be experiencing in their role as they help support your vision for 2024, they're going to get more and more excited. And especially when you as a team are sharing your personal visions with each other, you and your team members will spot opportunities for how to support the team members with their visions. And when there's this engagement and buy-in and let's all come together and be excited about our visions and support one another in creating our visions, you're just building this wonderful culture in the business of win, win, win. I want you to win in your role with the company. In return, I want you to help us win with the vision. And then the other win is how your clients and customers benefit from this highly engaged team that you're building. And remember, team building tends to be one of the biggest areas that's overlooked by small business owners. And in my research with entrepreneurs, one of the things that I'm finding is that those entrepreneurs one in 10 who have a high quality of life and whose revenue and profit is growing are those that are engaging in team development and they're putting systems in place to do that. So I just shared with you a powerful team development exercise. So get out there and try this with your team. So if you're getting excited about your vision and you want support, you want us at Tap the Potential to help you make this a reality through being a part of our Better Business, Better Life program in 2024, I really encourage you make sure you're signed up for the Jump Start. Head on over to tapthepotential.com forward slash Jump Start. I would love, we would love to hear from you about what you're visioning, where you're challenged, what you've tried so far, and we'll talk with you about the next steps so that you can make your vision a reality in 2024. And be sure to come back next week for part four. That's our final episode in the strategic planning series. We're going to be talking about designing your business for profit in 2024. Thank you for spending time with me today. Join me in our Tap the Potential Mighty Networks community at tapthepotential.com forward slash group. Share your aha moments from today's episode, ask me questions, and join in on the fun with your fellow entrepreneurs on the journey to designing sustainably profitable businesses that give you more time for what matters most and more money in your bank account than ever. Isn't it time you take your life back? And finally, share today's episode with a friend if you know a friend who would enjoy it. This is real life business. Keep your chin up, keep moving forward. You got this.